Hello, I'm Abia Axtrocat, and today Minecraft Java released a poison potato snapshot as part of Mojang's April Fool's joke. This is something we usually expect to see exclusively on Java. We've never seen any of these jokes translate over to Bedrock, but this year they did something different. And there's more! For all of you potato lovers on Bedrock Edition, you will find some free Marketplace add-on content that potatoizes your Minecraft worlds. Is that healthy? I don't know. That's right, Bedrock users can finally enjoy the April Fool's joke, but even more interesting is the fact that it's not exactly the same. Some of the blocks are perfectly duplicated across, while some of them, like this lamp, are entirely brand new, and some of them, like this poisonous potato minecart, have never been seen before on the Java version. And let me show you something fun. It's a minecart that goes way faster, but also doesn't even require rails. I love this so much. I'm looking forward to checking out the explosive poisonous potato, the poisonous armor, and and everything else in today's Minecraft Bedrock April Fool's joke, the first we've ever seen. I am incredibly excited, but let's start from the very beginning, shall we? So the interesting way that they handled having an April Fool's joke on Bedrock is by making it an add-on that is available on the marketplace. However, despite this add-on being officially endorsed and promoted by Mojang, it is actually made by Jigabov, who has made some of the add-ons that already exist, and it follows some of the add-on structure of having one of these books where it explains everything. So here is the gist of it. Poisonous potatoes are not found any easier in this snapshot or in this April Fool's joke. Instead, what you have to do is harvest them like normal, and when you harvest potatoes, you have a one in a hundred a chance of one of them being poisonous. In this case, we got none. But in this case, we got our very first one, which can now be used for all sorts of silly recipes. To show you those recipes, let me quickly replace this with a crafting table, and then say, oh my god, look at this. We have the poisonous potato table, the poison potato lamp, poison potato carpet, a poison potato block, obviously, too, and then there's balloons and chairs and couches, explosive potatoes, sound like a lot of fun, and nubs. Uh, what, what even does nubs even mean? I need to find out. And then also, even more interestingly, are the fact that you can make diamond swords and wooden swords and stone swords, etc., which is the first thing I want to find out about. And so, let's make ourselves a wooden pickaxe and then a stone sword, and then use that stone sword, plus the poisonous potato. What the heck is this, by the way, mutato? Use these two things together to make the poison potato powered stone sword. <laughs> As you can see, this is a sword powered by potatoes, which I can now use to kill an iron golem. Oh yeah, it's a lot of damage. He's getting poisoned too, it looks like. <laughs> You're not damaging me anytime soon. And now we've got some iron. Then I'm gonna do the very normal thing of growing over a thousand separate potato crops with a hundred times tick speed. Wow, look how fast it's going. And then we see how lucky we can get with our poisonous potatoes. As you can see, we're at 13, 14, 15. Oh god, what are you? <laughs> Okay, we're I think I've just found a pet. <laughs> well, okay, well that's lovely, but I'm still here for more poison potatoes because there is a lot that I need to craft. Oh, I got another one! Okay, so when you harvest potatoes, you might just find the poisonous potato dude. Oh, can we breed them together actually, do you think? Come on, we must be able to. Nope, they can either sit down or they can stand up like this. Come with me, come, come live in my house, friends. <laughs> it's so ridiculous looking. So I'm just gonna leave you guys sleeping in here. This is where you can live now while I go off and see what I can craft with my newfound potatoes. Okay, first things first, I wanna make some armor. I wanna see how effective this actually is. I've heard there are benefits to having it on. Wow, 80% protection already. Also, more poison potatoes. Love these farming villagers for helping me out that way. Then I'm gonna put some boots on, and then I'm gonna spend the rest on a helmet just to see what three separate gear pieces will look like. I'm already got, I've already got the full 10, uh, you know, armor shields as you can see. And also I already look very ridiculous, but very well covered from poison issues, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I got another one of these poison potato monsters. I kind of want to kill it to see what I get from- Oh, ah, that's handy, that is. I need some more of these. So the guidebook here hints that something interesting might happen if I wear a full set. And so even though I've already got all of my armor already, I feel like I have to go just a little bit further. And so let's see what we find. The answer is lots of poison potato columns. <laughs> but then enough poison potatoes to make myself this final piece of armor. I am so curious about how this is going to go. Okay, it's on. Oh, I think I poison enemies just by being near them now. 
Just to confirm that's true, let's head over here. Yeah, wow, it's a poison AoE effect, which is wonderful, I guess. <laughs> Let me eat some potatoes while I poison some better food. Oh yeah, you're going down. I don't even need to hurt you, buddy, because you're dead. I could see this being a downside if you had friends in your world, as well as enemies, but let me assure you that's not an issue for me. It might be an issue for this guy, though. Gonna be honest, the last time I wanted to use you was a long time ago, and you didn't receive the update that we were promised, so... You're gonna have to die. Okay, so for my next test, I'm gonna have to do something pretty monstrous because this cat is one of the most unethical sources of string you can get in Minecraft, but it is a source of string. And so that string plus a poison potato will make me one of... Where is it? Here? No. Here? No. Why is there a poison potato balloon? But not over here. Over here, the poisonous paid potato portrait, which I can now place over... Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Although I guess if it's gonna look like that, I might as well place it where it'll be most appreciated, right inside with my very poisonous potatoes. <laughs> also, the next thing I wanna test, now that we have nine poison potatoes, is what a poisonous potato block actually does. Is it purely cosmetic, or is there something more to this? Well, let's place it down, and let's stand on it. Maybe take off my armor first. It doesn't poison you, it just vaguely exists. That's nice, I guess. I guess it's also very nice having armor that allows you to take off, say, the chest plate and still have full protection. If you didn't want to poison everyone around you, you could wear an Elytra and still get full armor protection. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay, now it's time for the big reveal, the explosive poison. I'm just kidding. What we gotta do first is obviously make one of these. It is the most ridiculous recipe the game has. It is mutato. And getting a mutato means apparently getting a poison potato. So sorry to my friend over here, but I do need you for pieces because this is what I'm going to craft with it. Mutato is something I genuinely don't know what to imagine is gonna be. So let's place it. Oh, you are a mutato. Oh, interesting. You have lots of faces and expressions. It's, it's very cute to see you exist. I don't think I would ever craft one, to be honest, knowing I could get them elsewhere. However, something you probably will want to craft are these. Explosive poison potatoes and explosive poison potato nubs. So, for these, I'm going to take use of my very much creatively given Elytra, uh, just so I can get in and out these quickly. Because let me show you something fun. This is the power of an explosive poison potato if I throw it into my- oh, wow. Okay, what happened there? Everything got damaged, but nothing went away? Weird. Okay, I've gone a, bit, a little bit of a higher point so I can show you this. Here is an explosive potato. <laughs> Let's throw it over there now too. It looks like the previous one already messed it up, but that is so much more. And just for good measure, let's destroy this part of it as well. No! Wow. So now you might be curious what an explosive potato nub does, and let me assure you it is very disappointing by comparison. Well, I mean, I, it is a much smaller part of a potato. But if you want to have just very small targeted local explosions, this is the way for you. But for everyone else, there's explosive poison potatoes. I'm gonna destroy this house so bad. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just dying. Whoa! That is so bizarre. Anyway, the final major feature is one you've already seen, but it is one of the most features, fun features Minecraft has ever introduced. This is the poisonous potato powered minecart and it is better than every other minecart variety in existence because it finally listens to our criticisms of minecart speeds but also goes a step further and listens to our criticisms of the boat by being able to go uphill which makes it one of the most fun things I've ever seen in minecraft. Look at these wheels, they are so ridiculous but so lovable regardless. So now is the time to say, okay, now we've played around with most of this add-on, what is the comparison between this and the Java Edition snapshot which released today? So, interestingly, there have been lots and lots of Java Edition snapshots for April 1st, but we've never seen one of these on Bedrock, and so I wouldn't say this is a perfect comparison, but instead the start of something new. If you do want to do a good comparison, I would say, yeah, the Java snapshot has so much more. There's a whole brand new dimension. There's a mystery of this with the uh, with the fetching table, which I'm sure has to mean something to do with the vanilla game. It's a, it's a mystery that you can spend hours looking into and indeed that I think I might have to do so but there is so much going on with the Java snapshot whereas this is some fun poison potato jokes which are here as an equivalent if you are playing bedrock oh my poison potato minecart died 
just like my voice during this video. I am so sorry for it, if you have noticed. I am doing everything I can to repair my voice. I've been very, very sick the last few days, but it's been, again, entirely, uh, you know, internal pain. Now it's finally showing up on my voice, so it's a little harder to record. But I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did and you want to see me checking out the Java snapshot, I'll be doing that at about 6 p.m. I'll wrap as well as uh, a couple of YouTube friends will be joining in as well. So it'll be interesting to see. Oh, actually, you know, to be honest, I'm, uh, I, I think Pixel Rix is there. I don't think we've ever spoken in any sense of the word, but a lot of people have asked that we do some more collab. So, yeah, we've got, uh, that, that'll be fun. I'll be meeting him the same time all of the internet will. Is that normal? I guess it's hard to say, but what I can say is normal is April the 1st jokes being cool, and I hope that from here on out, they have some equivalent for Bedrock, even if it's made by Bedrock add-on uh, developers, or if it's made by the team, and it's not a perfect equivalent, something is better than nothing, and putting it via the marketplace is actually a clever way to both, you know, talk about the marketplace, but also it means it's optional and can be downloaded year-round, and that way the April Fool's joke can be for as long as you want it to be, just like it can on Java. Which is nice if you ask me. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.